before we get started, go subscribe to my new channel. On this channel, we are going to be doing Elite Smash challenges and only gameplay and stuff like that, so it's not going to be anything about Smash Ultimate leaks, and if that's something you're interested in, go subscribe. If we hit 1,000 subscribers before October 31st, I will do an eShop gift card giveaway, so make sure you guys go sub. How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Nintendo Direct leak discussion video. In today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look at a leak that claims to know when the next Nintendo Direct is going to happen, as well as a bunch of information about what is going to be on this Nintendo Direct. However guys, as always and I cannot stress this enough, just because this leak claims to have credible information about what we are going to be seeing in this next Nintendo Direct, that does not mean that this leak is going to end up being 100% real, so make sure you guys take it with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about this just for fun. If you guys like to read while I talk, you can find a link to the original post in the description right down below, and now with all that out of the way, I have to tell you guys where this leak came from. So guys, this leak was sent in to me by one of my subscribers on my Discord server, so if you guys haven't already joined up, you can find a link to my Discord, as well as links to all of my social media presences, such as my Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon, in the description right down below, as well as the pinned comment. And now guys, the leak that we are going to be taking a look at today comes from Inverse.com, so let's go ahead and take a look at it, shall we? So guys, like I said, this leak comes from Inverse.com, and it is titled, Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC and Sword and Shield Starter Evolutions Allegedly Leak. The next Nintendo Direct might be a Pokemon and Smash Brothers extravaganza. It starts by saying November is shaping up to be a monumental month for Nintendo. Pokemon Sword and Shield will be released on November 15th, Add Terry Bogard will be added to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate roster at a currently unspecified date. The gaming giant is widely anticipated to host a Nintendo Direct sometime soon to break down its fall launches. Now, an alleged leaker on 4chan claims to know when the announcement will go down and what it will reveal. The anonymous user wrote the Direct will take place on November 13th, two days before Sword and Shield hits stores. Their October 13th post claimed the update will primarily focus on the upcoming Pokemon titles and the new Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC content. 4chan isn't exactly known for its trustworthiness, but it has surfaced some accurate Nintendo predictions. Some of the information included in this recent post aligns with previous Super Smash Bros. Ultimate rumors, but the nameless leaker doesn't provide any evidence to substantiate their bold claims. Now guys, we have already covered this leak before, so if you guys haven't already seen that video, I'll go ahead and post a link to it in the description and pinned comment, so that way you guys can get like an in-depth look at what this leak says is going to happen. The alleged leak does include a surprising number of details though, some of the information isn't completely out of the realm of possibility. Here's what could be unveiled at the next Direct. Nintendo Direct. Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC Character Reveal. The pre-recorded presentation is said to kick off by revealing the final Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC character, Crash Bandicoot. The mutated marsupial will allegedly join Nintendo's fighting game in December, bringing an end to the first Fighter's Pass bundle. There have been a myriad of conflicting Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC rumors, but a good number of them have mentioned Crash as a potential contender. A GameFAQ user claiming to have a reliable source at Nintendo correctly predicted that Piranha Plant, Joker, and Banjo and Kazooie would be added to the game back in December of 2018. Their list also included Crash as the final DLC character. More recently, Smash Bros. YouTuber Papa Genos revealed that a source on his Discord claimed that Crash would make it into the roster. His source had correctly leaked me costumes for Goemon, Zero, Proto Man, and the Team Rocket grunts in July. Aside from shady rumors, the recent Nintendo Switch ports of Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy and Crash Team Racing might have foreshadowed the Bandicoot's debut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. 
Activision owns the rights to Crash Bandicoot, and these two Switch releases could have began the talks to add the game's furry protagonist to the Nintendo fighting game. Nintendo Direct, Terry Bogard release date, New Fighters Pass, and more. The leak then claims that the Direct will continue with a November 13th release of Terry Bogard, five new Mii costumes, a $5 Minecraft DLC bundle, and the announcement of Fighter Pass 2. The 4chan post states that the second Fighter's Pass will also cost $24.99, suggesting that it will come with five additional fighters just like the first. Its first character will supposedly be Ryu Hayabusa, the protagonist of Tecmo's Ninja Gaiden series. Much like Crash, there have been several rumors suggesting that Ryu would eventually make it to Smash Bros. Ultimate, all of them have gotten the timing wrong, but this might be the moment of truth for the Assassin. Nintendo also added the NES version of Ninja Gaiden to the Switch Online Library in December, which could suggest that Ryu might be headed to Smash Bros. Ultimate. Nintendo Direct Pokemon Sword and Shield Starter Evolutions Once the Pokemon Sword and Shield portion of the Direct gets underway, the 4chan post claims Nintendo will reveal the final evolutions for the Galar Starters. Score Bunny evolves into a humanoid rabbit with a soccer ball, they write. Sobble evolves into a humanoid chameleon spy, and Grookey evolves into a large gorilla with a giant drum. All three of these seem to fit what we know about the Sword and Shield starters so far, but Nintendo has yet to reveal their first evolutions, so it seems strange that it would debut their final forms out of the blue. The leak goes on to say that the three new Pokemon will be announced including a ghost water type possessed ship, a fire grass goat, and a legendary space dolphin. The dolphin claim is reminiscent of a, the old Pokemon Sun and Moon leak that made the rounds in 2016. It's possible that Nintendo scrapped the dolphin in previous games and later decided to use it for Pokemon Sword and Shield, but fans will need to wait a bit longer to be sure. All of this will allegedly take place two days before Sword and Shield releases around the world. A direct so close to the two titles release could serve to build hype around the new installments and rile up some excitement for other titles as the holiday season approaches. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is available now. Pokemon Sword and Shield will be released for Nintendo Switch on November 15th. So now that we've gone over this entire post, let's talk about it a little bit. So guys, the first thing that I want to go ahead and say is that yeah, I definitely do believe that we are going to end up seeing a Nintendo Direct in November just because once again I feel as though there is a ton of information about Pokemon Sword and Shield that we still don't really know anything about. Now it is entirely possible and honestly I wouldn't really be surprised if this ended up happening that the Pokemon company could just have like their own Pokemon Direct because we all know that I, that is something that they have done in the past. However, I feel as though since there is some new information that the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate team has to release as well, it would make a ton of sense if they just did a regular style Nintendo Direct and just focused on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as well as Pokemon. Now, another thing that I want to go ahead and say is that if we do end up getting a Pokemon Sword and Shield or a Nintendo Direct on like November 13th, which is two days before Pokemon Sword and Shield release, we are already going to know everything about this game. I mean, for those of you guys who don't know, when people like Game Explain and other companies get review copies of video games, they typically get them about two weeks in advance. So by the time, like coming up pretty soon, we are going to know everything about this game franchise. We're going to know everything about all the starter evolutions, all the new Pokemon and everything else like that. So honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo just came out and like gave us all of the Pokemon information really soon. Now, yeah, they could do it a couple of days before, but like I said, if we do end up getting a direct, we're already going to know everything because information spreads so quickly on the internet, so that's just something to keep in mind. I think that's like the only reason I'm kind of doubting this leak because like we're obviously already going to know all this information, so I just think it'd be weird for the Pokemon company to do that. And finally, guys, the last problem that I have with this leak is that it says that Crash Bandicoot is going to be the fifth and final fighter. Now right away, as we all already know, Sabi has actually come forward, and for those of you guys who don't know who Sabi is, Sabi is basically the most trusted leaker in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate community, and he says that he is currently leaning away from Crash Bandicoot and Ryu Hayabusa being the fifth and final DLC fighter on the first fighter's pass. 
Now he said that it is possible that one of these two characters could make it in as the final character. However, he said that's probably not going to happen. We're going to see them a little bit later. So yeah, I usually take what Sabi says as like the only correct thing because Sabi has proven himself time and time again to be credible. So just another thing to keep in mind when taking a look at this leak. However guys, with all of that being said, do I believe that this leak is real? Honestly guys, I'm not 100% sure. I think that this leak makes a ton of sense, and especially considering they are going to want to show off a ton of new information about Pokemon, and also show off Terry Bogard, his release date, and the next DLC fighter. All of that makes a ton of sense, but once again, I feel as though Pokemon realizes that like since they're starting to send out review copies, and people are starting to get their hands on the game, like all of this information is going to be leaked and spoiled to the public, so I'm just not 100% sure at this point. They have to reveal the starter evolutions pretty soon, so who knows maybe we'll get one two days before but i think we're gonna get one a little bit earlier however guys with all of that being said let me know your thoughts about this leak in the comment section down below do you guys believe that this leak is real and would you be happy if it was why or why not thank you guys all so much for watching make sure to subscribe share and like and i will see you guys next time take care